What's going on, Jerome's? Beautiful Sunday, another seven-round Vikings mock draft, and we're, we're going to stick and pick. I, I know that's not really in our nature, but that's what we're going to do, so start draft. Vikings currently have five selections, no second-rounder, no seventh-rounder. Somewhere Rick Spielman is crying. Rick Spielman's crying. All right, so up at one, C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, Will Anderson, Will Levis, Tyree Wilson, uh, Gonzo. Ooh, Richardson falls to the Raiders. I actually... I actually don't like that that uh, pick because I actually think Josh McDaniels is going to ruin Because remember, Josh McDaniels had Tebow time. And Richardson is obviously a better thrower than Tebow. But athletically, um, similar profile. Well, <laughs> Richardson is a better athlete than Tebow. But whatever. Uh, Jalen Carter falls to the Dirty Birds. Uh, Joey, ooh, stays in state uh, in, in Georgia. Uh, Joey Porter Jr. going to the Bears at 9. Ooh, spicy. Haven't seen that one. Uh, Paris Johnson. Uh, Devin Witherspoon is cornerback three off the board. A little bit surprising. Uh, Skronsky going to the Texans. First you buy the Haas, then you buy the insurance. Uh, let's see Quinn Johnson falls to uh, the Commies. Uh, JSN goes to the Patriots. Van Ness goes to the Jets. That's gross. That That's gross. That's a really good uh, pairing, putting him in that front seven for Rob Salah. Uh, Broderick Jones, uh, Bajon goes to the Lions. All right, so... Th- uh, the the Lions come away with Christian Gonzalez as well as Bajan Robinson. Damn, damn, Gina. Uh, Nolan Smith goes to the Bucks. Uh, Deontay Banks, thanks, goes to the Seahawks. Uh, Zay Flowers, Jordan Addison. So a quick run on receivers before the Vikings pick at twenty three. So a lot of ways to go here. Uh, Kalaja Kansi is there. Brian Bruzzi is there. Uh, Brian Branch is there. Ant- Anton Harrison is there. Uh, but you know, obviously the Vikings won't be on attack. I'm just saying that he's there. Um, we said we're, we're going to stick and pick. We're, we're going to stick and pick. So, I mean, Brzee, I like a lot as a run defender. I think he sort of peaked as a freshman. Um, but he had a myriad of health issues and life issues going on. So I, I'm very empathetic to that. Uh, I think that he is going to be a stub player. Kansi's just got that disruption. And I know that the Vikings are, are, are going to employ mainly a three-man front. But uh, using him as a sub-package player, I, I think – is going to be huge, and I the Vikings will use uh, some four-man fronts uh, at times uh, with Flores and also Brian Branch. <sighs> Brian Branch is so tempting; he really is, man. So Brian Branch, quarterback of the defense. Think of basically Minka Fitzpatrick, a um, little bit more uh, versatility, a little bit better in coverage than Minka, uh, but Brian Branch, I mean, he's an absolute stud. He's a leader he's a high fo- uh, football iq guy he's gra- got great intangibles he can play outside corner can play slot can play single high can play split can play box uh basically a do-it-all defensive back god that's so tempting um i actually am gonna go brian branch uh in this spot because even though yes safety room is pretty stacked harrison how long is he going to play? Josh Metellus is in a contract here. Lewis Seen's coming back from injury. Unproven, but uh, his uh, potential is certainly there. Cam Beasy started all last year. I, I like Beasy a lot. I'm not sold on him long term. So Brian Branch is going to be our guy. Brian Branch, what is up? Don't even label him as a safety or a corner. Just put, put him as DB. I love it. Uh, the fact that he got the 23, pretty damn amazing. So at 87, Tanner McKee is just sitting there chilling. Now, yes, you look at his production, you look at his limited work at Stanford, there's a myriad of issues there. Um, I I think that he does have the tools uh, to potentially be a good quarterback at the next level. His lack of mobility is a concern, especially given the Vikings offensive line. Uh, Garrett Williams, G-Dub coming off that ACL. Carl Brooks, uh, the man who is a combine snub, but just has a great nose for the football. Uh, he's not going to be an edge rusher in the traditional sense in the NFL. I think he's going to kick more inside. Uh, Travis Hodges Tomlinson is fantastic as well. And Dwayne McBride is a stud. Amora Ojomo, I love. All right, we're going to go Carl Brooks in this spot. Because I, I just think that incorporating Brooks as a guy who can get his own pass. Right. No, Tanner McKee's just still sitting there chilling. Do we just do it or do we take DTR? So I, I know PFF is way more down on DTR than we are. Uh, I, I, or yeah, I, I think that DTR is probably going to be in the fourth round mix. 
Like they're much higher on guys like Aiden O'Connell and Stetson Bennett uh, than I am. But who knows? All right, so Dwayne McBride is there. Uh, Moro Ojomo is there. Deuce Vaughn is a lot of fun. Jaden Reed. I like Jaden Reed a lot. Um, all right, so in this spot, we're going to go with the man who had a great senior bowl week, Jaden Reed. Come on down. And like we said, we're going to stick and pick here. And I, I know DTR is going to get to 211, but is that – is that intellectually dishonest? Because uh, I think in the real draft, he's not going to get that far. So, uh, the, right, so that's what we're going to do. E even though his ADP is low, uh, I think that he is going to go at minimum uh, in the top five rounds. And given his athleticism, uh, he's really done himself a lot of favors in the draft process. He, he looked good throwing at his combine and, and, and his pro day. Uh, all right, so last pick. A lot of different directions we can go here. Could go Eric Gray. Could go Ventral Miller, who I like a lot. If want to add to the linebacker room. All right, we're going to do that. So like I said, it's not really in our nature to stick and pick, and I, I doubt that Kwesi is going to stay put, uh, given that they have five draft picks. But overall, I could live with this. I certainly could live with this. Brian Branch getting to 23 is fantastic. It was a tough decision between him, Bruzzy, and Chansey. Uh, and then you have Carl Brooks, who I think is going to be a monster. At the NFL level, just a guy who dominated the Mac, a guy that has inside outside flexibility and is just simply going to be a great pass rusher at the next level. Jaden Reed, I love a lot. I think that he could come in and compete day one uh, with KJ Osborne, with, uh, with his former college teammate uh, Jalen Naylor. Would, uh, uh, I think that he could be in the mix for wide receiver two, three, four this year. Uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson, betting on traits, a guy that got better every single year in Westwood under Chip Kelly. Uh, I think that he's a guy that Kevin O'Connell could work with. Uh, I think that his accuracy is underrated. I think that he has good athleticism. I think that the arm is there. Uh, so I think him <clears throat> as a developmental quarterback, day three is huge value. And then, of course, you got Ventrell Miller uh, coming in. He's going to play some good special teams. I, I think that he's going to be rock solid, potentially competing uh, to be that guy long term across from Brian Osama. Uh So overall, you got an A minus. Uh, I like this draft a lot. Even though they gave us an F for DTR because, well, they, they have him ranked like super low. I think he's going to be round four or five, somewhere in there. But your thoughts are our thoughts. Stick and pick seven round Vikings mock draft. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we'll you put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.